Man, that would explain why my satellite's not working. We've got no internet. Well, we get sporadic internet. Satellite dishes are right up here, but there's a lot of tree cover today in our new site. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got air. Oh boy. And I saw you walking the line and the truth may come as a surprise that we Back into the car place. I was here earlier, a couple days ago, three, four, five days ago, pick up some more of this heat treat stuff, dream heat, to try to patch some more of the manifold. But anyway, the first patch didn't work. I'm gonna bring this stuff back and they should have a manifold for me in here this morning. Just arrived. Well, it's already almost lunchtime now, I guess, but good news, hopefully. And that there looks like success on my shoulder. I like the look of success. Hopefully it's the right one. I opened it up. It looks like the right one, but I mean, exhaust manifolds, exhaust manifold. I'll show it to you guys later. All right, so in the box, this is an exhaust manifold. I don't know if you can see it. I didn't want to take it out here in case there's any grease on it, but this hooks up to the block of the engine. As it burns fuel, it creates little explosions in the engines. The exhaust goes through the ports. So there's eight of these, four on each side. And this connects them all together and then hooks it up to the main which goes eventually to the tailpipe, to your muffler. That's what an exhaust manifold is. And the other one is cracked right through here, all the way around. So this is the new one, comes with new gaskets, new bolts. Uh, I'm at the mechanics place here. I'm gonna see if they got time. Well, I know they don't have time, I just talked to him on the phone, but uh, he's gonna try to see what he can figure out for us. He's swamped today, he's got so many cars in front of us. But I wonder if he'll let me kind of play around in the parking lot here a little bit. Uh, if anything breaks, it's not too far from his shop doors and he can wheel it in. But I might be able to start taking some stuff off. Maybe that'll speed things up. I don't know. I'm going to go in and, uh, and talk to him about it. Alright, so I brought it to the exhaust place. I brought the manifold there and the owner of It's kind of a neat system they got going there. So the guy that owns it uh, has guys working for him. But there's another mechanic there who's like freelance. He works for himself for other mechanics. So whenever somebody's falling behind, they give him a call and he can come in, come in, work for however long they need and he just moves from mechanic to mechanic so I thought that was kind of neat so that guy is willing to work after hours tonight um, yeah he goes from shop to shop working for people uh, but he's willing to work on it tonight after hours so I'm gonna pull it back in there I think it's like 2 30 or something right now I'm gonna try to pull it in there around probably three four o'clock probably closer to four and I'll start working on it myself get some more WD on there see if I can get these bolts moving and then uh, when he's done at five o'clock then uh, they will take the tire off and try to get this manifold off and get back on. Best case scenario, he said, hour, hour and a half, we'll be back and rolling. Uh, worst case scenario, it's going to be a lot longer than that. Uh, the guy that owns the shop, he said they ran into one where it took them four days. And I, I don't understand why it would take four days. But anyway, bolts go in to the head of the engine and they just they don't get moved, right? So this is a 1998. 
possibly those bolts have been in there for the last 25 years if this is still an original header which means it could be pretty stuck in there right and hard to get off and if you bust them off then you got to drill them out uh, weld something to them and anyway try to get them out which is a lot of work so there's eight bolts in mine and uh, this other guy's was also eight bolts three of them came out really good the other five busted off and then you have to try to get them out of the engine block which can take a lot uh, a long time so um, that was his concern we may be down for quite a while but best case scenario the other guy didn't think it would be that bad and I don't know I guess we'll find out when we bring it there so that's what we're gonna do in an hour or two right now kids are napping a couple of kids are sitting here I don't know what they're doing. Cora's looks like she's writing letters. Ariana's eating leggers. Wayland's eating leggers. Wes is eating leggers. Yeah. Anyway, now you're up to speed again. So hopefully that all gets done. I went ahead and ordered all those other parts. It's going to be a week and a half before they can do that work. Um, but if I can get this exhaust manifold on today, then we're good to drive. And uh, and we can go tour around again. We just have to come back to this area in uh, in a week and a half. I mean, she's so excited about it. Look at her. Give me the watermelon. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. Put it in my mouth. Hundred <laughs> percent. If she could get up, she would grab it. Oh, she's whining. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> uh, priceless. Even recording before you get to here. Very good. Doing? Uh, playing around. Okay. Working on taking some nuts loose and stuff to get the manifold out. Cool. Basically helping the guy that knows what he's doing do it. Okay. Are they coming out? Uh, he just went to town to go put a check in the bank. He'll be back shortly. No, no. Are the bolts coming out? Oh, yeah. I'm just working on shielding so far. I haven't started on the manifold yet. I'm just getting some stuff out of the way so I can get out the manifold. Oh. What is that in there? That scares me. Uh, 10. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> is it that scares me? No, it's all good. It's all good. And while Aaron is fixing underneath, the kids are doing school and napping. Looks like Maddie's napping. Mom. The kids are doing school up here. DR is doctor? Yes. Okay. It's the abbreviation. Mom, I just... <laughs> bum, bum. <laughs> So I actually worked out really well so far, all the nuts, so far. There's still three to go. They've all come out pretty easy. Okay, so there's a better look at what we're doing. This is the old one. You can see the crack there. And this is the new one. With a gasket. The old one didn't even have a gasket, which I think is kind of odd. Got it all off. Uh, the guy that's going to be working on it, he said, well, I can just get started. He had to run to town. So he ain't come back yet, but when he's back, and uh, I'll let him look this all over first to make sure it's all good. I, I think I could probably stick it back on, but I'll let him look at it first. So. That could have been much, much worse, apparently. Uh, I don't even know how long that took us. Half an hour tops, maybe, to get those bolts out. So, very good. Pardon? Uh, yeah, I forgot to hit it earlier. Just about got her all licked up here. I like it when things go good. Yep. For a while I had nothing but bad news. Everybody kept telling me you can't find a manifold. <laughs> and then all these uh, fellers are telling me you can't fix the manifold. I said, well, there's, it's cast. It can be welded. No, no, we don't do that. Need a new one. Okay, but you're telling me you can't find a new one. Yeah. <laughs> so now what do I do? So I say you need one of those old guys around somewhere that's willing to just do it. Just try it. You know? Yeah. Never mind the book. Just weld it. Yeah. Well, you get out on the farm. You got to do what you got to do to make things work. Yeah. You just can't always get parts. That's right. That's where the whole haywire outfit expression comes from. 
and them didn't look terrible. Psst. Psst. It's working good. We're gonna fire it up here in a minute. <laughs> the baby's smiling away at me. <laughs> Hi, Maddie. <laughs> Hello. And since we're looking for a new home, it's like, you know what, maybe God wants us to move to Montana since he won't let us leave, hey? Eh? You want me to rev it up or is it good? Ah, it's not the tick, it's, uh, it's not the leak if you look down there you'll see it. Oh. <laughs> yep, that would be that. Is. So that won't make it run any better, bro. What do we do about that? Is there a off again? What is it? Uh, well, the wires are pulled off. I fixed them, but the ones arcing across oh. the motor. That's what that ticking noise is. Uh, okay. Sounds a lot like that. This is an example of how this boy learns. Complete stranger showing them how the air conditioning works. This machine. I'm assuming it's a pressurizer or whatever. It's going to recharge the air conditioning. And there's Wes. He's not in here doing schoolwork. He's out there having an educational course. So when I say that every moment's a teachable moment, this is a, a, just an example of what I mean by that. This kid would never learn as well as he does if he had to sit behind a desk in a book or read a book. This is how he learns. And some children just, this is how they function. Okay, everybody, now oh, I'm just super excited, I think. I'm, uh, yeah. That was really good. Very, very, very good service. John Burns, if you're watching this ever, thank you so much for your help. I really, really appreciate it. And JR's Repair and Exhaust in, uh, I forget where I am. Billings. Where? Hey? Billings. Billings, I thought so. JR's Repairs and Exhaust in Billings, Montana. Hats off. Thank you guys for uh, for helping us out. After hours of all things. Okay, everybody's gone home. We're working on that. I worked on it. I pulled the old manifold off. And then I let him... Uh, uh, John put her back on again just to make sure it was done right. So we're all hooked up. She's quiet as can be I asked him to look into my air conditioning as well And he didn't think anything was wrong with it. So he put a machine on it and uh, in his opinion again I am NOT a mechanic. Um, I don't want to say anything bad about the other guys that looked at my stuff But according to him, there's no leak. He filled it up and it is currently blowing cold air on my on my knees. So I don't know what do you say about that, right? I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but we'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts exactly. But he don't think there's a leak, and if there is a leak, it isn't a bad leak, and we could just top it up so once in a while. And that's what I said to him. If I have to add a can or two a week, I mean they're 14 bucks a can. So if I have to add, you know, one can a week, it's 14 dollars a week times that by four, you're looking at 56 dollars a month uh, for the next two months. That's pretty cheap compared to spending 1500 dollars getting it fixed up. Anyway, as far as all the other stuff, I asked a second opinion of his as well on all my front end stuff. And he don't think it's bad. He thinks what's going on is that they're looking down underneath there. And so they're all joints, okay? And when they get wet looking, it's because there's leaking going on. So whatever's in the joint could be leaking out, which could mean a bad joint. But that alone doesn't mean anything. What looks like it's going on on mine is that somebody's gone through great lengths to grease everything. So, so there's excess grease there and it looks kind of like it's leaking, but all the joints feel tight to him. He don't think I need most of that work. Uh, there is some springs that could possibly need replacing. Uh, but again, he says, what are you doing with this thing? Like, what's your plans after you're done your holidays? So we're probably going to get parked for a very long time. So he says, then don't worry about it. 
So we're gonna go somewhere else and get an alignment done. They don't do that here, but I'm gonna go somewhere else and get a third opinion basically. But, and one of the viewers said it on here too, uh, in, in, in the opinion of this man, we don't need all that work and we're getting overcharged and we should seek another opinion. So, I don't know, I, my gut was kind of feeling that way too. And I, at the same time, I like to take people on their word. I'm a man of my word. If I tell you something, that's what's gonna happen. And I expect other people to treat me that way as well. Not everybody does. I'm not saying anything about the people that were working on this thing. They seem like straight up good people. Um, maybe, you know, whoever whoever was working on it, maybe one of their mechanics was just a little over cautious. I've had that before. In Ontario, we have to do safeties on our vehicles and I had one that wouldn't allow my vehicle to be safety because of a door bushing on a hinge, which is absolutely ridiculous if you know anything about door bushings and hinges. It's not a safety concern. But he wouldn't allow it to be safety based on that. It's a hazardous vehicle. So anyway, long story short, we're on the road. The exhaust is on. It's running great. It's quiet. I got cold air. We're super happy. Our problems seem to be of a race and I would attribute that to all your prayers. So thank you very much for all of your thoughts, all of your prayers. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. We are on the road again and uh, gonna carry on with our adventures. Caught behind the nation blinds, how to reach for the city lines. And this ain't where I belong. Hey, look at me, man, what I become. I've been running east, looking for something, digging deep since '99. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. I think it's time for me to go. 